Welcome to the exciting adventures of Math Man. Dewey Poindexter was just an average teenager until he learned algebra. Now he uses his math skills to turn into Math Man, the most powerful superhero on the planet. In today's episode, our Math Man will use slope intercept equations in order to save the day. Hey, in order to have Math Man skills, you will need to take some notes here. Go ahead and write this down. We'll wait. Yes! Okay, now back to our story. To begin his day, Dewey is just chilling by his pool when he gets a call about a cat that's stuck in a tree. This is a job for Math Man. Math Man must create a staircase to get to the top of the tree. Using his supercomputer, he determines that he needs to create a staircase whose equation is y equals 3 halves x plus 0. At the scene, Math Man tries to take a shortcut. When that doesn't work, he quickly finds the x-axis and the y-axis. Math Man compares the equation from his computer to the slope-intercept formula. He can clearly see that the slope is 3 over 2 and the y-intercept is 0. Since Math Man knows that you always begin with a y-intercept, he begins at a height of 0. Then he places his first step. Hopefully you remember from the slope section that the top number, or numerator, of the slope represents how far you need to go up or down. Positive numbers go up, negative numbers go down. The bottom number, or denominator, of the slope represents how far you need to go across. Positive numbers go right, negative numbers go left. Since both the numerator and denominator of the slope of three halves are positive, Mathman will create steps that go up three and right two units. Hooray! Mathman saves the day and returns to his home to count his gold. Suddenly, Dewey receives an urgent phone call asking for Mathman's help to fix the police station's satellite dish. Dewey changes into Mathman again and returns to his computer, which tells him that he will need to create a much steeper staircase this time. The computer tells him that the equation will need to be y equals 2x plus 3. Mathman flies to the police station where there is widespread panic without their communications satellite. Math Man compares the equation from his computer to the slope-intercept formula. He can clearly see that the slope is 2 and the y-intercept is 3. Since Math Man knows that you always begin with a y-intercept, he begins with a height of 3, then places his first step. Math Man has a problem with the slope, though. It's not a fraction, so he does not know how far to travel across. Fortunately, he remembers something his awesome algebra teacher taught him. Slopes should always be made into fractions when graphing. If there is no denominator, make it a 1. Since 2 divided by 1 is still 2, Mathman knows that this is correct. Since the 2 is positive, Mathman knows that he should go up. Since the 1 is positive, he knows that he should go right. Yes! Suddenly, Dewey receives yet another urgent phone call asking for Math Man's help to save someone who's being held captive on top of the haunted mansion. <coughs> Dewey changes into Math Man again and returns to his computer, which tells him that he first needs to climb to the top of the haunted mansion, then shoot a zip line down using the equation y equals negative two-thirds x plus seven. Mathman flies to the haunted mansion where there is widespread panic. <coughs> ah! 
Mathman saves the day again. Finally, Mathman compares the equation from his computer to the slope-intercept formula. He can clearly see that the slope is negative two-thirds and the y-intercept is seven. Since Mathman knows that you always begin with a y-intercept, he realizes that this means his height is currently seven. Mathman has a problem with the slope, though. He doesn't know if the negative should go on top or bottom. Fortunately, he remembers something his awesome algebra teacher taught him. The negative can go on top or bottom. But Mathman always preferred putting it on top. Since the 2 is negative, Mathman knows that he should go down. Since the 3 is positive, he knows that he should go right. Notice that since the slope is negative, his aim is down. Once again, Mathman returns back to his home, this time to relax on his private boat. Suddenly, Mathman receives another urgent phone call, but this time is unavailable. Well, that's all we have for today. Please join us again for more exciting adventures of Dewey Poindexter, Mathman.